In this video, we'll discuss how to put images on the screen using Corona SDK. If you haven't already viewed the video on dynamic scaling, please do so before proceeding, as that video contains important information about how Corona SDK handles image scaling. In your app, there are two ways to load images, basic and dynamic. The basic function looks like this. While this method displays an image on the screen, it doesn't utilize dynamic scaling, so you shouldn't use it if you're targeting several devices of various resolutions. This method will simply load the image at the exact size of the image, and you are responsible for scaling the image to fit your needs. To utilize dynamic selection, you must use display.newImageRect instead. This function will use the proper images when needed according to your image suffix setup. Note that two additional parameters are required when using this method, the width and height of the non-suffixed image. So, in this example, with the base myimage.png at 600 by 200, the at 2x double-sized image should be 1200 by 400 and saved as myimage at 2x.png. Positioning your image on the screen is accomplished by simply setting the X and Y coordinates of your image to where you would like the image to appear. To learn more about handling display objects, be sure to check out the full guide on the Corona Labs website. And that's a quick look at how to load images on the screen using Corona SDK. Learn more about working with Corona SDK at www.coronalabs.com slash university.